Hello, hello, hello. Ah, uh, this is not really a spotlight. This is kind of mashing a couple, or mashing, kind of putting a couple of mods back together um, to show you an effect that I think a lot of people want, but maybe don't quite know, maybe just haven't thought of how to get it or just don't understand. Um, as we all know, the Nephilim body that everybody likes, or at least that I'll say a lot of people seem to like, um, is a CBBE body, and it has an odd texture and glowing things on it and stuff. And so there's things about you may really like and things you don't like. You may really like that shape. And I'm back on charity here, and I wanted to show you there's a way to get that shape and to get an armor um, mod replacer that goes with it that's really nice now this may not be to everybody's cup of tea that's okay that's fine uh, I wasn't really trying to imply that it is for everybody but for those that would be interested um, the closest body that you can get and it's a UMP body is this test succubus body and it says aka Nephilim but when you search for it look for like succubus body or something along those lines it, it's one of Morgan Helsing's mods um, and it's the same basic shape, and I will show you, I'll show you that, which I should have probably already done that. But let's just take, um, we'll leave her boots and her gloves on because they don't matter. We're going to, we're going to be changing up her outfit though. But this is, this is the body and the little underwear it comes with. Now, I've got her maxed out. We don't have to have her maxed out. Hold on a second. It depends on what you like. I mean, I tell you what, I will, just for the sake of um, everyone involved, I'll, I'll tone it down a little bit. How's that? That's a little better. And we'll just let her go like that, okay? But you can max it out or not. It's up to you. So I'm doing this just, just to get kind of more... A slightly more middle of the road look for whoever might that might appeal to okay all right so anyway it's still enough that we can all see what's going on here right so this is that body that and I've done a spotlight on this body before but I thought it would be worth showing this and the armor replacer I think that really goes with it that does a good job and I will show you and uh, the armor replacer as well Now this is a small body mod. It's only like a little over six megabytes And it's just that shape you still have to have your own textures and you're gonna need your own armor replacer and the only armor replacer Well, there's two that you could say go with it one is um, Is this one this is also by Morgan Helsing and I really think this was intended to go with this body Okay, I really believe it was, um, and it does a good job. And you can see I've got it downloaded and active, and I had her make all this armor so you could see it. And um, it's a lot of examples to go through, but again, you know, just to give you an idea of what everything will look like, um, I'm just going to do the armors. It just gives you an idea of what all the armors would look like. If you like this armor replacer. Now, if this is too much, Spartan, is it Spartan Wolf or Spartan? Uh, it might be Spartan Wolf has another replacer that's maybe maybe not as racy, but still pretty good. Well, it's still very good, really. It's still really good. I used it for quite some time myself. And um, it also looks really good, and maybe I will show it next with this body just to give you an idea of your options. But, um, this will show you some different armors that come with this, this armor replacer. And these are, I mean, these are meant to be fairly racy. So if you're not into that, just, you might want to just look away now. Um, and not everything is super, super racy, but, um, this is the blades armor. I think the Curus is going to look the same. Yeah, I just have two mods that kind of supplement so one has better stats than the other but the appearance is the same and let's see bone mold this is one of those mods that actually does something with bone mold armor which there's not a lot of those out there to be honest 
Um, so you can see the different ones and see what you think of them. Yeah, I think I will do Spartans next. So just stay tuned for that. That'll probably be the next thing I do. Because I've already got her. She's got all the armor and stuff. So maybe I will just do several armor replacers and show what they look like to give you an idea. We'll just keep Charity busy here. Um, let's see. Chitin armor. Just to give you an idea of what they look like. I'm not going to go through and like... Um, look real up close at every one because these are just replacers and you know they look they look good enough on their own you you either kind of like that look or you don't it's up to you and I did scale back her her heaviness so uh, she wouldn't be as uh, big in the areas but but these mods are meant to be a bit on the, the racy side so they still have that look and I, let's see, um, we'll do the cloth robes here. And that's not really bad. It's not even super skimpy, really. It looks good, and it's not too much. Depends on what you like. Some people would say everything is too skimpy. This is hardly, this is just like showing her belly. That's really all that is. It's a nice little outfit. Now I do, I really do like this um, Daedric set here. I think that looks really cool. It's got a, a good um, theme to it, you know. It just looks really good. Now these may be the same except for the colors. So I'm just going to look at this one and then we'll see if the next one is any different. Now I am going to do these a little on the quick side. Yeah, this looks the same. It's just a different color. So, um, but I think, yeah, there's not a lot of difference in the light and the heavy. There's just a little difference. And these are just, oh, no. Now, see, this is why I wanted to check all of them. Because some of them might be different. More different than I know. So, this was a change that I did not expect. So there you go. And then this went back to looking like more like the others. So it pays to check out every one, every variation, just in case. The dragon plate armor. Now if you get, I'll tell you another, and well, you know what, I should probably show you that. But if you get, there's another mod, the Book of UUMP. And get the, uh. If you like the curvy stuff, get the, uh, I think it's the, is it the curvy one or does it say, well, I forget. I'll get it and show you. It has a bunch of variations of some of these that you can look at that are very cool. Um, and you could look at that and see what you think. Ah, you know what, I'll do that. I haven't done that in so long. And probably I did that back when my my recordings weren't as good a quality as they are now so it's probably worth doing so that's the dwarven that looks really nice uh, ebony this is just the regular ebony that looks good and then there's the male i really i really like the way they did the male it just I would like to see a mod, I, I don't care about the hearts, like the pasty hearts or whatever those are supposed to be over the area. <laughs> I don't I don't really care about that, but just look how the mail looks, the, the, the scales of it looks very cool. I would like to see some armor like that. That's If anybody knows of some mods that have things like that, let me know, because that looks pretty cool. And I, I know I've probably seen some others, but this is one of the best ebony males I've seen, except for, like, those things. <laughs> uh, maybe that's not uh, particularly... But anyway, you get the idea. I won't, I won't keep going on. Um, so, the elven armor... And there is a difference. Now, in this one, you won't see much difference in the gilded. Okay? I'll show you. But there is definitely a difference in the light. See, the gilded, 
it rarely ever looks different. I don't I don't even know why they bothered to do a separate. I know the stats slightly different, but that hardly seems worthwhile to me. But the light, now the light is going to look different. They actually went to the trouble and and did a different light, elven light armor. And actually has more coverage in a way, well, except for maybe the uh, the chest area. <laughs> but other than that, has more coverage in other areas. Uh, I shouldn't even talk about these things. Nonetheless, this, I've never seen this glass look before. It's pretty cool. I've never seen that. That's a different way of doing that. So, that's all I can say about that. Greybeard's robes, they actually give you some, some girly fied um, really not much of a robes, maybe like a sleeve shirt or something, I don't know. Anyway, the Guildmaster's armor, it looks good. It looks kind of blue-black, which I don't mind. I think it looks nice, and it's really not too, uh, revealing. So, and this... Looks like there's some, some booty clip in there. It looks like the... They we're clipping a little bit there. That's the hide. It's the Imperial. And this is the Imperial armor. And it looks it looks nice. Probably could do with a little more protection up top there, but you know, that's the way it, now this, okay. This outfit, regardless of whether you think it's too skimpy or whatever, this outfit too has a very nice look, the way they did the I guess that's supposed to be chainmail is really nice and the cape is just uh, it's just super cool it looks really nice if I was gonna do like a female Thor this would be the outfit to do it in and that's not actually a bad idea but I would have to have this whole mod just for this one outfit so that's probably too much but anyway this is really cool uh, I, I have to say I think it is and you don't have to agree with me, but you probably should. But nonetheless, <laughs> uh, um, let's see. I will do the improved bone mold, which actually at least they do something different with the bone mold, and they they try to make it interesting. And I I appreciate that. The iron armor, good basic. You know, this should be your early game armor. It looks like it's early trouble but you know the jester's clothes now the jester's clothes are not too bad that doesn't really look too you know like too much of course I'm not wearing the right boots and gloves for it but still that looks good leather armor the leather armor that is just about that's about as skimpy as you can get <laughs> I mean, you could do skimpier, but I mean, and still say that you had something on. <laughs> this is not, this is, this is pretty, pretty skimpy. Um, okay, so you saw this. She was wearing this to begin with. So. And this is Mirax robes. Which, that's not a bad version of that. That's a bit, bit much to call it robes. And that's basically the same. Now, the Nightingale armor. I like this version of the Nightingale armor, but I don't like the cape. I never like the cape on the Nightingale armor. I say never. Yeah, yeah, I, I can stick with that. I, I, I have yet to see the Nightingale armor with a cape that I thought was... Well, I saw one one time that was really short, and I said, well, that's okay because it doesn't... But, but it kind of looks dumb. That's just me and my opinion. Some people really like the Nightingale cape. So, just understand, that's just my opinion. Doesn't mean anything in your game. In your game, your opinion is what matters. So, so that's going to be the same thing. Yeah. Now, let's try Nocturnal's clothes. Oh, you know, I forgot to summon Nocturnal earlier. Maybe we can try that at some point. Anyway, so they do the really tiny version of Nocturnal's clothes. It's like it's just like a little bikini, basically, or not a bikini though, but like a little one piece. That's the same. I thought it was uh, Nordic carved armor. 
It's nice. At least they're trying to keep the booty warm. So that's something. Uh, let's see. Um, we saw those. They're, they're just different colors of the same outfit. It's not really a big deal. Then the orcish outfit. I had forgotten what this one looks like. Orcish, you know, it doesn't really pan out in the game. You don't really use it for very much, if at all. Now, this is the Sigic robes, which is nice. It's not too much. And this is the Savior's hide. Well, now that's different. I didn't remember it looking that different. But it's kind of cool. It's got the little chainmail links hanging down. Uh, scaled armor. I didn't, you know what I didn't do? I didn't make all the clothes, so there's going to be certain clothes that we have not seen. I'll probably try to make a few of them real quick and let us look at them. But this is just to give you an idea. Maybe I'm overdoing this, but it's been a while since this just has the horn on the shoulder. There's really not much difference. Um, this is the skull coat. There's not a lot of, I think they may have up dated this since I originally saw it. It looks good. It looks really good. The light coat is probably the same thing. The heavy armor. Now it and the light armor should have a different appearance. At least they did in the past. So that's that's pretty cool looking. And the light, yeah, the light armor does have a different appearance. I thought it did. So this is just to give you an idea if you would like this kind of effect in your game. The steel armor. Now this is the steel armor, I think, with the shoulder. Let's see. Does the other one not have the shoulder? No, that's the one without the shoulder. Okay, well then what's this one? Oh, okay. Hold on a second. So this one, it does... The two do look different, so... Just so you know. I didn't realize, I didn't think there would be a significant difference, but I think in this case, this time, this modder has given you two different designs. And then a third if you count the steel plate, which is still to be looked at. So they do, they give you three different steel ones to look at, because uh, I don't know why I made those, I made those by accident, I guess. Anyway, steel plate, the steel plate looks like this. Which, I kind of like the blue-black leather look. Um, it's a, it seems a little off since I was expecting actually more steel, but it is what it is. I, I don't mind it. Um, it may not appeal to you. If it doesn't, that's fine. So here's the Stormcloak Curus. And this is basically what most of the guards you're going to see wearing this in their different colors. The studded armor. Um, I don't know how different that is from the hide. Probably not a ton. The Telvanni robes. Now, the Telvanni robes, I remember this now. They always look a little too uh, risky because there's just, like, nothing up top there except just, oh, we'll just throw a couple of, you know, we'll do, like, a scarf and let that drape over or something. It's... It's a little on the skinny, down, sli slim, slender pickings side. It, that could be troublesome. Nonetheless, um, I'm just saying. The priest robes. The priest robes are actually pretty good. It's kind of a... I think it's kind of a unique design in a way. Anyway, looks pretty cool. Um, Thalmor hooded robes. These look good. Or at least I, I think they look good. I think it looks good. And um, the, the unhooded, I think it's basically the same, just no hood. Yeah, it looks basically the same to me. Um, I'm not always the most observant, so you really have to look for yourself. <laughs> I'll just tell you. Um, okay, so this is the brown thief armor. Looks good. Not 
not not overdoing it with some of these the dark armor is pretty similar I think the did the other one have that collar it's got like an Elvis type of collar let's see yeah it does it's got the stand-up collar I call it the Elvis type of collar but you know what I mean so it's just the collar but other than that, it's basically the same. It's kind of a blue-black in my game. But I have upped my saturation a little bit. So, And then this is the gray armor. And it also looks basically the same. Just a different color. Yep. So. And you got the vampire cloth armor. Now this is the first one. Now some of these will be different. This is This is pretty nice. These are pretty nice armors. And uh, you have number two. It's not drastically different, but you do see, you know, you saw some changes. It is different. And then we do get into something different than the third one. I just like the fact that they may bother to make changes and do some different colors. I, that at least makes it a little bit more fun. Um, let's see, then we have this. So that looks nice, actually. It looks very nice. And then these, I think, are going to be the same. Yeah, these are the same designs. They're just light armor instead of cloth. But the same designs. I think if I had Serana here, she would be wearing this. Um, then wolf armor. I think this is the last of the armors. Then there's some clothing ones. The wolf armor is really... You know, it's like really a bikini with just a little stuff <laughs> slapped on. So, there you have it. Um, so, let's go and let's see. So, let's see if we can make some cloth stuff here. I was going to make a few outfits. I think I grabbed enough.